Hello Kids Clubbers. We hope you're having a great Brighton, brilliant Brighton week even. Um, we're going to be doing our craft for today and that is going to be pebble painting. So if you could take a look at some of the ones I've done already. I've done a Kids Club one, I've done a Brighton Beach hat and Keely actually made a lovely little crab there on our pebbles. Now what we're going to be doing with our pebbles is after we've painted them, we're going to be hiding them in the area where you live and where your kids club is. So we're going to be writing some special information on the back so that your friends can join in a special pebble hunt in the kids club area and post them on our Facebook pages, which is going to be really, really exciting to see who's going to be finding our pebbles we've been painting. So you're going to need some paints. Um, I've got some normal um, water-based paints here too, but if you do have any acrylic paints, they work much better. Um, and I've actually got some of these lovely pens, um, which I've bought from Amazon, which you can buy in other places too. Um, but these work brilliantly. That's what I've made my ones down here with. Um, but we're, I'm gonna show you how to use just normal paint today as well. You can also use um, marker pens. I've got some um, Sharpies, or again, other brands are available too. Um, to use on your, on your um, stones as well. You're gonna need some paint brushes, some water, and then to seal it with afterwards, we're gonna be using clear nail varnish. Now I just got this from the pound shop. Um, so you don't have to go out and buy the most expensive or use your mum's most expensive clear nail varnish. Um, there, there are others available in some cheaper outlets as well. So we're gonna start off by um, getting a stone. And if you have any stones in your garden, you can use one of those. Um, you can buy them. Um, I don't recommend you pinch too many from the seafront because we're not actually allowed to do that. Um, so I've got mine, I had some in my garden, so I'm using those ones for my garden. So I've got my stone, make sure it's fairly smooth on the top, ready to start painting your picture. Now we're gonna try and keep them as bright and themed as we possibly can. So I'm gonna do a pebbly beach scene. So I'm gonna start off with some sea. Now the best type of pebbles to get are ones which are lighter in colour because then it shows your paintings so much clearer. I'm going to add a bit of yellow marker pen because I haven't got any yellow paint. Just add a little bit of different colour to it as well just to show you as well that you can use marker pens as well as the paint. And it just shows a little slightly different contrast of colour. So I'm just going to now add a little bit of white on my sea just to add a little bit of depth and our sea is always a little bit rough isn't it. Okay so I'm going to leave that to dry um, before we then um, go and write our information on the back of our pebble and seal it as well. So that one's going to dry, leave that one there. So to show you what we're going to write on the back of our pebbles, I'm going to show you the one that I've done for Kids Club Rocks. Okay, it looks a bit like a superhero, doesn't it? So I'm just going to show you the back. So what we're going to be writing on the back so that these can be found is Facebook and Kids Club and the club that you belong to. Now I belong to Carden, so I've written Carden on there. But you can write Kids Club Hangleton, Kids Club Fishersgate, Kids Club Molescoom, Kids Club Dyke Road, um, any of the kids clubs that you go to. And then you write, please post photo and please rehide. Okay, so that's, that's the idea of the game. So we're trying to encourage people to take a photo of our rock and post it on our Facebook pages so we can see who's finding our rocks. Now I've done that with a um, Sharpie. So I'm gonna just write it on the back of this one here so I can show you how easily that works. So. So 
So that's now written on there, ready for us to now seal with our nail varnish. Now, there's a trick with this, okay? You mustn't stroke the nail varnish, you must dab it, because if you stroke it, you will smudge all of the paintwork and you don't want to mess up your beautiful paintings, okay? So I'm just going to show you now what you do. You just get your nail varnish and you just blob it on, okay? You don't stroke it. If you watch what I'm doing, you're just blobbing it on. And then you leave that to dry before you then um, do the same to the reverse, okay? And that is how we make our painted pebbles ready for our pebble hunts around the kids' club areas where we live. I hope you've enjoyed doing them. I really have enjoyed making these. Um, I'm probably going to be making loads of them for the area where I am. Now I'm going to head over to our next activity. See you guys soon.